Okay, let's do this first lab where we can get used to this lab interface that they have here in uh, CompTIA to run through these labs. So we need to, first of all, go to Office 2. So we have a new employee starting up there. So we need to jump into Office 2. So the first thing to know is how to navigate into different areas of your office. Because it's like we're in a simulated office. Here's what our office looks like. We were in the networking closet. We're gonna jump over to Office 2 and I'm gonna click on the hardware because we're setting up this hardware piece. Okay, so that's what we did first is we moved from our starting location to Office 2. Now we need to add a monitor. So on the right-hand side is where we have in our inventory. And by hitting this button, you can make that bigger or smaller. In our inventory, we have cables, peripheral storage. So a monitor is a peripheral. We're gonna grab that and drag that out. Okay, next we want to use an HDMI cable to connect the monitor to the Office 2 computer. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit to make it a little easier to see this. And you'll notice that this, each of these have this button right here with the arrows kind of going around in a circle. When you click on that button, it's going to ask you what view do you want to look at. So right now we're looking at the front, you have the back, the motherboard takes you inside, drive bays is going to take you right to the drive bays on the front. So we're going to look at the back and I'm going to look at the back for both of these so that we can get a cable connected. So if we go back to our inventory, and I'm going to hit the back button there. So now we can see cables and we have two cables. We're going to grab the HDMI cable and you can drag it over onto your workstation or if you just single click on it, it's going to add it up to this selected item section. And as I scroll down, you're going to see it shows that right now it's not used there. It's showing me the things that are not connected and I have my two ends. The goal here is to drag each end to the correct port. And when you're dragging stuff, what you want to be really careful of, so if I drag this over, it you may think, oh, I need to plug the end of this into that HDMI port. And that can be pretty frustrating because it won't light up. What it's really about is the mouse. So I need to get my mouse cursor over the top of that port where I'm putting this. And you'll notice a little green box goes around that port. I mean, I could try to plug it in here to the DVI port, but it's telling me that it cannot be connected to that port. So I'm gonna drag it out and hover over the HDMI port and let go. And you see now it's connected. And when I look over on the right-hand side, I show one end is connected to the monitor, the other end is not connected. So I'm gonna drag this other end over to the back of my computer and again, put my mouse over the port until it lights up and connect it. Now, one kind of tip is you'll see when you are over on the workstation, if you click on a cable, it will light up the other end. So if I click on the power cable, it's showing me the two ends so that I know which cable goes on which side and you can grab it and move it around. If I click on the network cable, it's showing me the network cable plugged into the wall and the other end plugged into the computer. Okay, but what we need to do here, now that we have the HDMI connected, is we need to do the power. So I'm gonna click on the power cable. I'm gonna see my two ends here. I'm gonna draw, click and drag one end into the power outlet and click and drag the other end into the back of the monitor. And now they both show connected. Okay, now we're gonna do a keyboard and mouse. So I'm gonna go back here to peripherals and I'm gonna drag my keyboard out here onto my desk and I'm gonna drag the mouse out there onto the desk. So with the mouse selected, I can over here in the selected item section, and you'll notice if I click over, now I'm back to the monitor. So I'm gonna click back to the mouse and I'm going to drag that over here to a USB port. And now I'm going to click on my keyboard. 
and do the same thing. Drag that over and plug it into the USB port. Okay, so now everything should be connected and I need to turn things on. So if I flip the computer around and look back at the front, it has a power button. So I'm going to hit that power button and it's saying computer is now on, but the monitor is not showing output from the computer. That's because we need to flip the monitor around and it's really hard to see, but down in the bottom right hand corner is the power button for the monitor. So now when you I have that powered on and I can see it and you might be tempted, watch what happens if I click on the monitor now, because it's on, it takes me into the desktop where I can actually control and, and it's, I'm, I am logged into that computer working on it. If you get in this spot, just come back up to your, your floor space and you can see I'm in that little icon there is the Windows icon. I'm in the Windows desktop for Office 2. If I just click back to Office 2, it'll take me back to the workstation area. Once you're all done, don't forget to hit score lab up in the top right. You have to hit it twice, hit it there and then say, yes, I'm ready to score. And it will give me my score. And if I missed something, it gives the explanation down here of how to do the things that I missed.